So here in Minneapolis, as everyone knows, it was the epicenter of what is now a worldwide revolution. People in power are so comfortable in the systems that have been set up for the past 400 years in this country, even though this country was built on the back of black people. My name is Mo Habib, and we're here at Studio 23 in Minneapolis, Minnesota, in the Uptown neighborhood. Studio 23 is a remixed art gallery fused with fashion, culture, music, and of course, sneakers. Point the finger, can't avoid it either. The main reason I wanted to build this space and what it attracts is the, the artist community. Growing up, I didn't have a space or a platform to express myself. That was one of the key reasons for me was to give artists a platform, a space that was safe where they could showcase their works, their talents. I was lucky enough to have lived on four continents. Every country I went to, I took a piece of it with me and that lent itself to the design, the vibe, the community aspect that we have here at Studio 23. And honestly, without that aspect of what we do, retail would not be something that interests me enough to build around it. Business here at Studio 23 was going pretty good. And then COVID-19 hit internationally, and we knew it was just a matter of time before it hit here in the United States. We were set to reopen on May 30th, a week before we were set to open. Mr. George Floyd was, you know, to me, brutally murdered. It's still hard for me to talk about. And then we all know what happened after that. People didn't quit protests. I don't like to call things a riot because to me, I didn't see a riot. I saw people peacefully protesting. The folks that busted in here and so many other local businesses here in Minnesota, throughout the United States. The people who damaged and looted and destroyed property, they, they didn't have anything to do with what happened to George Floyd. They weren't protesting or marching peacefully with us. They were opportunists, so I tend not to think about them or the things that we lost, because the only thing in my mind are the lives that are lost every day to senseless police brutality. There's, you know, there's no reason to sugarcoat anything. This is a generation that is probably denigrated the most by everyone else that, oh, they don't care. They just care about social media and how they look and selfie generation. Without the generation that we have now, this movement would not have spread worldwide. And I have friends in Tokyo, Amsterdam, Paris, sending me videos of tens of thousands of people protesting for racial equality in the United States. So it's just an amazing movement that's happened. I'm proud of the youth.